In today's episode, we're exploring the long abandoned Market Street power plant. Dating back to 1905, this coal fired power plant once supplied electricity to all of New Orleans. The plant would operate for nearly 70 years before finally shutting down in 1973. We had previously attempted to explore this plant several years ago, but our visit coincided with a short window of time when a security system was present. Today, however, the security situation is quite different and we were able to make it inside. Join us as we explore this century-old industrial behemoth. Thanks to Harry's for sponsoring this video. If you're coming out of a coronavirus quarantine and need to clean yourself up, Harry's has you covered. Harry's is a men's personal care brand that offers high quality razors at a great price. Harry's guarantee a close, comfortable shave with their amazing blades manufactured at their world-class factory in Germany. They also support great causes. It's important for medical workers to stay clean shaved to ensure the N95 masks make a proper seal. And due to the COVID-19 crisis, Harry's is donating $1 million worth of shaving supplies to hospitals around the country. Harry's sent me their starter set, which includes their razor and a foaming shave gel, as well as some extra blades. I don't usually do a full shave, but using their products, it was super easy to get a clean shave around my neck area. The razor is super simple, but paired with their great blades and a super smooth shave gel, it's extremely easy to get a great shave. The razor is only $9 and the blade refill started only $2. However, if you go to harrys.com slash proper people, you can get the entire trial set for just $3. Well, we're back in the back alleyway of this power plant. This is take three. This is take three. <laughs> These are the sirens that went off last time we were here. You can see the wires hanging from it. And that's the motion sensor just knocked off. That's definitely not working now, which is good. I think it was working one week. Like, I heard it was total, like one week. And we visited right in the middle of that week, it was working. I heard a scrap came and cut it like day three. Yeah. Well, these were all strong. Yeah, there were no all alarms the, the week here. before we went, and then I heard there were no alarms. That's what I'm saying. The they were up after. for a week, and we came yeah. right in the middle of that week, they were up. Yeah. <laughs> and this dark area is where we saw the sensors leading to, so we'll stay out of there for now. Go, go, go. For this exploration, we're once again joined by our friend Ryan, who goes by Abandoned New England. You can hear scrappers working inside. Oh yeah, I hear him cutting. absolutely gross there's a layer of water and all the trash just in that it's raining inside of here there's probably a lot of floors there's a lot of holes in the floor here, so always be looking down. Now we've got turbines over there. I see photographers. Oh, those are scrap. Oh, there they are. are those scrappers? Okay. With a generator? Yeah. 
They can only do it on rainy days. Because the sound? Yeah. That's pretty crazy. They have like yeah, full got, work lights in there. They got a big setup. If they can bring it in here, we can bring it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's avoid them for now. That's like the best spot of the power plant though. No, 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 we can get above them. Okay. We could just chat them up just so we know like we're no problem for them if they're actually, no problem for us. This is a different turbine hall. Yeah, but that's like the more photogenic one. The one over here has no turbines left. It does. Let's check it out. That's pretty crazy. They have a full generator and work lights and power tools. That's heavy duty scrap it. Yeah, I've never seen scrapping like that before. I've just seen people with hand saws and shit. Just a hole. Platform's missing. This looks like switching equipment. There's probably a control room above this somewhere. There is one, okay. There's one generator. This is as far as we got last time before setting off the alarms. Except we were down a floor. Oh, this would be an amazing turbine haul if they were all still left in here though. It's still really nice though. You can picture what that would have looked like. You would never see beautiful windows like this on a modern turbine hall. It would just be sheet metal. Some don't even have any windows. At one point, this room would have been filled with pairs of steam turbines and generators. Today, however, only one of these units remain. This one doesn't look original to the plant's construction and was probably added sometime in the 40s or 50s. I'm gonna guess this is the older one, but I don't know. I'll know when I see the other one if it's newer or older. The other one is okay. There's probably a control room up there. I don't expect it to be in good shape at all though. It's probably gonna be trashed. I see some of the panels from here if you go up there. Yeah, they're covered in graffiti. Look at this ironwork though. I just love the look of old steel and all the shapes and designs they would put into it. So obviously it's all about structural strength while using less steel, but it also has a nice look to it. It's like actually raining inside. Look down there, that <laughs> water. How much would you have to pay to pay to drink that? You'd get cancer within like a year. Probably. So actually I think that, I don't know, it's very metal. It's very concrete. It's not that bad. That's someone's corner over there.
Located below the turbine is the condenser. Here, water from the Mississippi River would be pumped in to cool down the steam and return it to a liquid state. Then it would return to the boilers to be turned into steam all over again. I've never seen such a graffitied up turbine before. It's covered. Oh, that still works. We're almost at the spot I was standing when we set off the alarm. It was right under here. Yeah. You can still see some of the sirens on the walls, obviously not hooked up anymore. Yeah, the sensor I set off was somewhere back here. Mm hmm I don't even see it anymore. You see that wire right here? And these wires hanging down? It's probably something with that. Yeah, I think that wire would have went to it. It was somewhere in the back corner over there. Yeah. And I set it off. That gold square right there, that was part of the alarm system as a siren. Yeah. Not gold, the silver. Metal square. Wait, weren't there more like uh, rods in this condenser? Yeah. I remember there being this looking more interesting when we were here last time, but maybe I'm just remembering it wrong. Yeah, maybe. Well, we didn't even get to the other one. We only got to right here and then left. This building does not provide much shelter from the rain. Well, there's a lot of panels left in here, but they're empty. Covered in graffiti. No switches or gauges. The ones that are here. Do you still turn? Those are probably toggles. You pull one from yeah. one of the other. And if like this one was out, and then you pulled the other they one, it would probably make it pop back in. They don't in. collect, do they? No. They're, they're, there's one with no graffiti. There's still graffiti, but there's more, there's more on this. Just ugly graffiti. Did somebody slide something inside the gauges? Look at that. There's like alien text. Oh wow, there's stickers on it. Could be from a movie. It's yeah, on top of the glass. probably because they filmed something. Yeah. That's interesting. It's funny how apparently Hollywood thinks that control panels from the early 1900s look more alien and futuristic than a modern one. <laughs> Here's some that are not graffiti or stickered. It's a really nice turbine hall. Very well lit. The ones with the natural light are always the best. Skylights and the huge windows. They're just wandering towards us. It's so creepy. Doesn't look like a scrapper. He has a backpack. Yeah, it doesn't look like a scrapper. Okay. Okay, let's get out in the open, maybe. He's gone. He went around the corner. Yeah, there's a way around the corner over there. Yeah, he's went a different way.
Um, this goes into the other building, yeah. so we won't be able to get to the Let's go down the stairs. turbine deck. That is back our direction. What? That is back our direction. Yeah. Is he walking towards us? Yeah, he's not saying anything. Let's walking. go. Ever so slightly. Put his hands in his pocket. Let's go. Let's go. So this way. He has something in his hands. Okay. I don't know. Nothing big though. So. You want to go up? Let's go up, dude. Yeah. It's a little sketchy when he doesn't see anything. I'm going to view a vent from here. There's ceiling there. There's ceiling up. They're scrappers, though. They're not here. They're putting bars across the doors. Guess we'll go this way. Windy, wow. Not good weather for climbing those towers. Yes, you the one on the left of the railing. Uh huh. Yeah, the one on the right doesn't. Okay. So you get to the top. You get to the top and it's just like. The city and the low clouds are just really crazy cool. Guy climbing those the one on the left has a railing, the one on the right doesn't. So you get to the top. I don't know, if I have some footage if you want to put it like at the bottom of the okay. or something. But you get to the top and it's just like slanted There's nothing down and you just like have to like pinch yourself in between yeah. the top of the barrel and like this little tiny thing that like sticks out for you like to hook on something not to if you're wearing a harness. But Jeez. Yeah, left well, one. Left one is the Plus one. today they're wet so I really don't yeah, think we're gonna be climbing them. My lens is look soaked. Like giant coal what? These look like giant coal hoppers or something. They We're in the rafters of the old turbine hall. At this point, we wanted to head into the second turbine hall, but we had to proceed cautiously since that seemed to be where most of the scrapping activity was taking place. Turn your light off. Should I just do one of these? Yeah. What? Should I just do one of these? Yeah. 
Or no, we blend your neck. Don't hold. Don't hold. But then you have to do it like this. Otherwise, it looks this looks sketchy. This, you know, get yeah, it. No, don't. Yeah, no, don't hold it. Just like leave it on. Do you want to film? The water back there. The water back there sounds like a waterfall. Yeah. I don't know. Just very, very good ambiance. Um, should we just do our thing over here or go up to them now? Until so we just like happen to see each other? Maybe we should just do our thing until we just happen to see each other. What's our, what's our thing though? Film? I was kind of like, yeah, where are we going to film from? Just film this area first maybe. Because they're... I'm they're going to go in the middle of this bridge. Alright. Some guy just came over and nodded at us, so I think we're okay. Just pictures. Just pictures. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. We just was making sure y'all wasn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. We didn't, we didn't want to bother you guys. Y'all good, boy. Y'all good. My name's Ella, bro. If y'all need something. Okay. Y'all cool. right. more just be careful where y'all walking because. We got a lot of stuff like the stairs and shit from Yeah, Apple. yeah. Went to cutting on them, trying to scrap them, you know, the floors and shit. Mm -hmm. so it's a lot. But I don't know if y'all just fucked up. Alright, all right, thanks, man. Y'all good, bro. Just pay attention to y'all around me. Yeah. I'm gonna say everybody's cool. You know? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, it's three of y'all, so y'all should be cool. If y'all need something, I'll be yelling. Alright, cool. Thanks. Okay. This is why it's like y'all see the cookies. Oh, yeah. We're about. Uh, Florida, actually. Yeah. I'm Connecticut. This is New Orleans, ain't Florida, bro. <laughs> y'all do it, yeah. Y'all do y'all thing, man. Yeah. Y'all down for Mardi Gras and shit? Uh, yeah. You know, why some women out here, buddy? Yeah, <laughs> bro, they'll take y'all quick, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, y'all do it, y'all thing, man. Alright. Pipes are pretty sick. <laughs> they just curve around the holes. Yeah, it's like one wall of the boiler. That's so cool. On. It's like a scrapped out boiler. Some boiler controls. Yeah, now these are some old panels here. Yeah. Well, I don't know how old they are, but that thing at the top looks really cool. I love cool. the shape of it, yeah. Technically, these should be newer than anything that was for the um, and of course, original turbine hall. Bailey's meters. Well, these could have been the original boilers. It's just not directly adjacent to the older turbine hall. Look at this pipe. It's like a loop. This building holds the switching control room, but unfortunately, most of the entrances had been sealed. Do you see anything down there? Okay. We weren't giving up easily, however.
Let's see if we can get into the building with the control room. Well, I mean, there's not even that. I'll do that. I don't know, man. No, this is not even attached here. Is there anything on this level? That's open up there. You can't get up there. I don't blame you. I don't even know why I just did that. <laughs> oh, <'cause> I did it. <laughs> yeah, if you weren't here, there's no way I would have done that. But I was like, fuck, Ryan did it. Now I have to. <laughs> My girlfriend's either. She's going to be pissed. Yeah, oh my God. That can't. <laughs> My parents, dude. <laughs> oh, wow. It's fucked. Jeez. In six months, dude, it's gotten so much worse. Really? Used to be stuck. Yeah, I'm gonna tell Brian that he doesn't need to do that because this is not worth. You can really imagine how insane it would have been when it was like in mint condition, though. Yeah. It wasn't even like, as bad six months ago. Well, now you're making me feel really great for failing twice, like starting four years ago. Dude, <laughs> I think like six past, years ago is the first time we tried. Some of the places I've been in the past six years, like I'm mad at myself for going and being bad at photography. Yeah. Places just get clapped out so fast these days. Especially big ones in your cities. Yep. Cities like New Orleans. <laughs> So this is like a switching control room, so you can see all the different substations labeled over here. This would have been something else when it was intact. It's such a shame. Grabbing a second board to make it a bit easier. This one should be sturdier. I'm just gonna leave after this. Yeah. I saw some guy running around a few floors up. Like a full on sprint. Good jog. Could be running for something or he's just high. Yeah, I don't know if he's running because of a reason or just because he's running. We should what probably get out of here. What color was he wearing? Uh, gray with a... Uh, orange cap? No, uh, light on his forehead. Oh. Probably just running around strapped. Yeah. All right, I think it's time to get out of here. Yeah. It's getting chilly too. I'm a little sketched to come back in here with like a $800 camera slider. How much was it? 600? So let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> the market.
Market Street power plant last changed hands in 2015, with the new owner stating his intent to redevelop the property. As of 2019, these plans have not been abandoned, but any real progress is yet to be made. For now, the building will continue to sit and decay, serving as a shelter for New Orleans less fortunate in the meantime.